curling one in. Bobby Hutchinson was up there. And it's a goal. Riley gets the goal. Glenn Riley puts Bristol City in front. And what a time to strike a minute before the interval. And that goal was without a doubt made by Keith Bell's centre. Bobby Hutchinson went in for the ball. The goalkeeper Farnworth did punch it clearly. It fell straight to Riley, who smacked it in the corner and it broke it. Now, not even the City fans are shouting much at the moment. City on the attack. Williams on the overlap. Wins it inside to Neville. Neville on his right foot. Has a shot. Well saved. Pritchard scores. Pritchard puts City 2 0 ahead. 20 minutes of this match left, and now Bristol City have more than stamped their name on the trophy. Long ball for Neville, looks good. Went behind Sutton, Neville with it. Neville against Sutton, chips it. Riley, go! minutes to go and the Bristol City fans going mad and there goes the result Bristol City have won the 1986 Freight Rover Trophy by three goals to nil, as the Bolton Wanderers fans pour out. Well, now we're going to see moments of celebration for Bristol City. Reminds us of the days back in 1976, promotion days for Bristol City. We haven't seen scenes like this before. 25,000-plus people from the West Country coming up to Wembley. And a moment for those players, probably never get back to Wembley again, many of them. A moment for them to savour. And let's just enjoy it with them. Just a few more steps to go, apparently they count them. Shaking hands. Now the moment he's been waiting for. It's all coming home to Bristol. Unbelievable, it's like a carpet. Yeah, it's like a bowling green. I'll let you get back to the champagne. Well done, mate. Thanks a lot.